All right. In this video, I want to talk about the two irregular bones you'll be seeing. The ethmoid bone right here, and then the sphenoid bone. So with the ethmoid bone, it's a very irregular shape. Uh, this is found directly between your eyes. So some of the major parts of the ethmoid bone, well first off, this, this thing sticking up is called the crista gala, okay? And it's rising from a, a flat surface called the cribiform plate. Now when you look closely on the cribiform plate, you'll see, well someone took their pencil and put marks all over, but there's a bunch of little holes right there. Those little holes are called olfactory foramina. So your sense of smell is the olfactory system and your nerves pass through there to enter into your nasal cavity. So when you're looking at the ethmoid from the front, you can see the crista gala rises up. That's this little point right here. But in line with the crista gala, I can kind of show it upside down, is a perpendicular plate. So there's the crista gala and if you continue down, that's the perpendicular plate which is forming part of your nasal septum. And additionally, the nasal concha are found here, the superior and middle nasal concha. Um, there's an inferior nasal concha, which is a separate bone, and you won't really don't see that on most of these models. Um, but those are the parts, the crista gala, the cribiform plate, the olfactory foramina, the nasal concha, and then this perpendicular plate. So that's the ethmoid bone. Here's the sphenoid bone. So with the sphenoid bone, you can look at it from the superior view. And when you take the, the top of the skull off, you can see this. So this is the body of the sphenoid. This is the cella tersica, where the pituitary gland sits in. So then you have these, it looks like a flying insect, if you think about it. it. Looks like it's flying. So what they give is, these are called wings. So this is the lesser and greater wing. So while we're looking at this view, you can see this is the superior oblique fissure. And then this hole right here is the optic foramen or optic canal. That's where your optic nerve passes out. So if you're looking at it this way, you can see them in a different view. This is the ant anterior view. So you can see the big, large, superior oblique fissure. And then you can see the optic canal right above that. Obviously, there's more features of the sphenoid bone. Those are the ones that we want you to know. So those are the major parts of the sphenoid and ethmoid bone.